Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Friday, July the 3rd, and I'm just down at Toronto Harbour Front at Trillium Park, looking out onto the Toronto Island. And there we have uh, Lake Ontario. How beautiful is this? In today's video, we're going to look at Psychos Lab, and we're going to look at the Visual Block Editor Psychos. In previous uh, videos, we've looked at various properties of Psychos Lab. We looked at structures, we looked at uh, graphing and we looked at wave files and today we're going to look at using the visual block editor. The first thing we have to do is we have to load them on them to a box. There it is. Press them on them to a box and it says it's loaded and the next thing we do is we're going to load the visual application Psychos. So there's Psychos. Okay so what we're going to do is we're going to build a simple um, sine wave generator and we're going to use two instruments. We're use, going to use a scope and we're going to use a spectrum analyzer. So let's go into the palette, palette tree here and we're going to pull out a sine wave generator under source. There's my sinusoid generator right there. Okay and then under sync I'm going to look for a scope. There's my scope. I put there. And then I'm going to look for a spectrum analyzer. So that's going to be in the ModNum toolbox. That's one of the reasons we need the ModNum toolbox. So it'll be under sync. There's my FFT spectrum analyzer right there. Now one more thing is we're going to need a clock. So we'll go back to um, go back to sources. And we've got a clock. Okay, I like to run everything on a clock. So let's run the scope on a clock here. So this is how we do it. We put a zero in there. Okay, and that clocks the scope. So we're going to connect the clock to the scope. And then we're going to connect the spectrum analyzer to the scope to the clock as well. And then we're going to connect the sine wave generator to the scope. Connect it to connect that to the spectrum analyzer. Okay, let's save our file. Call it sine A. Okay, so we're set to roll here. Now one thing you want to do is let's view this fit diagram to figure. There we go, and zoom out a little bit. Okay, so we're all set to roll. Now, notice that um, when you open the sign generator, it's got an amplitude of one and a frequency of one. So let's set up some variables here. So we'll go into diagram context, and it's kind of like a mini, mini editor um, console for the visual toolbox. So let's say sign generator. So let's define the carrier frequency to be one kilohertz. Uh, the angular frequency will be equal to two star FC. FS, well, I'm going to make that 10 times FC, and TS will be equal to 1 over FS. So those are some parameters I'm going to define here. Oh yeah, let's make the amplitude um, of the sine wave AC equal to 2. Okay, so those are my parameters. here. Oh yeah. All right. Save that. So let's open up the sun generator here and we're going to put in our amplitude AC which we've just defined. Okay and our angular frequency WC. Okay. 
Now, for the clock generator, we set our time, sampling time, to be TS. So we'll put that in there. We'll start right away at zero. And for the scope, since our amplitude is two, let's make our minus amplitude minus 2.5. and our plus amplitude of 2.5 so we can just see the top of the sine wave. Okay, and let's run this uh, for two seconds. Okay, and under the simulate in the setup time, we're going to, instead of 30 seconds, we're running for two seconds. Okay, and then the final thing is in the spectrum analyzer, under here for the sampling period, we want TS. Okay, so that's all we have to set up on the spectrum analyzer. Let's save everything. Okay, and we should be ready to roll. So let's run this and see what happens. Okay, so there's our spectrum analyzer. We can expand that a bit. And we're going to see a nice clean carrier. Whoops. See a nice clean carrier at 1 kilohertz which is what we do, and the scope here, if I expand this out a little bit, we'll see our 2 volts to minus 2 volts, our sine wave. So that's a simple block diagram in the visual editor, Psychos. Uh, we pull the blocks off the palette, there are various palette items in there, so that's where we get them, and then we can define variables within the palettes. The two instruments we normally use are the scope and the spectrum analyzer, I like to run both off a clock, and in the context within the diagram command here, if you open the context, you can set your variables up for the frequency of the sine wave and the amplitude. You can set up your sampling time for the clock, and you can set up your amplitudes for the scope and the runtime. And under the simulate uh, button, you set up your simulate time. So those are the parameters we have to look at. Let's look at a more detailed block diagram. Here what I've got is uh, in the uh, editor, so I'm back to the, uh, let's, uh, let's go to tools, activate uh, Psychos Lab. So what I've done is just reactivated the Psychos Lab and editor. Um, here I've got a, um, a script file that creates the I and Q data of a fairly complicated modem. It's called MSK144. So I'm just going to show you typically how we use uh, the block editor, the visual block editor. So I'm creating my um, modem data with this file. I'm going to execute it. So there's my modem data. So then what happens is I'm going to go back into my visual block editor. And let's open up the file for that. Double click to activate it. So there it is there. So there's the fairly complicated uh, block diagram in Psychos. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking my data that I created in the editor console. Remember we talked about structures. So there's my data for the I, um, the I portion, the I data, and there's my data for the Q. So I'm using two structures to import data into this particular modem. And there we've got a scope. We've got a scope here with multiple channels. So we looked at a scope with simple, simply one input channel, but you can get a scope with multiple channels. There's my spectrum analyzer. And I'm doing various things here. There's my sign generator. And I'm, I've got, um, this is a super block. So if I click this, I see um, all sorts of stuff inside there. So it's just a, a way of simplifying stuff. So I can run this. And we're going to see uh, typically um, how we build digital modems. So there's my IMQ signal. And if I look at this, this is it's the output of the modem. And we'll see that it's a frequency shift key modem with continuous. Uh, it's a continuous um, frequency shift keying. So when you shift frequencies, you you don't have a phase hit. So then basically what we've looked at then, we've, we've looked at the Psychos Visual Block Editor. We looked at a very simple structure using a uh, sign generator 
a scope and a spectrum analyzer. And here's a more complicated diagram uh, where we actually build a real, real live HF digital modem.